Good morning. Today is uh, 717, <laughs> 2021. Seven o'clock in the morning. I'm out here rolling. Money don't walk, gotta go out here and get it. What? <laughs> but anyway, um, I wanted to talk about the misconception of completeness versus wholeness in a relationship. And it, this one won't be verbose or let me get off that. Um, there is thank you. There is completing which is more of a finishing, something that's missing. Then there's a wholeness in terms of a person. So I'm talking about relationships. Individual is related to wholeness, whereas two people coming together is completeness. And individuals need to be whole before they can complete a coming together in a relationship. A person is whole when they have anger management, they have a relationship with God, they're self-sufficient. There are characteristics that a person will have. For example, someone may be, may, may like clutter. I mean, I guess you look in the back and you see like, it's a lot of stuff. <laughs> well, like I said in the beginning, money don't walk. I have to go out there and get it. So, twos of the train. What's up? So, um, other people can have traits of being angle, anal with the organization. Some people can be, and it doesn't mean that they're not whole. It just means that this is their unique personality. Some people can be artistic, whereas others can be more mechanically gifted. And this is a part of them being unique, yet still whole. Some people can be highly intelligent when it comes down to book smarts, reading, facts, knowledge. Others can be great with their hands, trades. So I say all this to say wholeness is based on a person being self-sufficient, having a relationship with God, being confident in their own skin, knowing who they are, being okay with themselves, and having self-control, self-respect. Whereas completeness is when you bring these two people together Let's say the artistic person comes together with the the, the person with this, this. Let's say one is artistic with with food, and then the other one is artistic with um, what am I trying to say? Paintings. I'm, I'm trying to be traditional, and the sun is like hitting me dead now, right? Okay, time for some more shades, you know. I want to get the... Okay, now I can see. When you bring these two different personalities, you have a more complete... spectrum. For example, a person who likes to rest a lot versus a person who likes to work a lot. We bring those complete pe people together and they can add balance to each other. The person who likes to rest a lot can help the person who works a lot to rest more. 
and the one who works more can influence the person who likes to rest a lot to do a little bit more. There are benefits to the completing and the multiplication of a complete package in relationships. It's a give and take. Remember, relationship. And Mr. Eddie Cook, great businessman, came to, when I was teaching, came to uh, Youth Motivation Day, and he broke it down. He said, relay, shun, ship. Relay, a giving to and taking from, shun, process, ship. A vessel which carries whoever's in it from where you are to some certain destination. So the relationship is a giving and taking as we give and take parts of each other's personality. I notice that people I'm around will mock me as I do different caricature voices and it's not to belittle or demean any I just think it's funny. I think it's likable. I digress. And I even you know, take on some of the thoughts that I think are valuable of, of those around me, especially in business. I've gained mentors who saw my hunger and drive and character in business and take me under their wing and I mean over the last five years I guess I've been groomed by different business personalities matter of fact it's been longer than that I've been groomed for business for the last 15 years minimal if not more I'm just looking at the process I'm gonna I'm 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 take it individually and then I'm gonna bring it home. God promises to finish anything he starts. I started my business about 16, 17 years ago. And I've noticed it gradually increase until it's, it just took off in the last couple of years and I recognize when you invest in something and you put energy toward that thing it's going to accelerate so look at your relationship how much are you investing in each other that will multiply and allow God to complete you and see that's going to be that third party brought it home right that's going to be the third party in the relationship. If God is not in your ship, it's going to sink. Whether it's your business, whether it's your intimate mate, whether it's your children, whatever it is. If you don't have God in that relationship, it's going to die. And it will never be complete. And i tell you this. Recognize the fruit of your relationships. Is God blessing it? And are you doing what God said to do? Sometimes God may tell you not to see the person that you want to see all day, every day, for whatever reason. Because he knows more about each of you individually so that when you do come together, you will get that Ephesians 320 multiplication doing more than you can think or imagine. What are you allowing God to ship you into? How is God's word being applied on you individually to make you whole so that you can be a complement or a completion and have a complement or completion in your life? You attract what's in you. If you're broken, you're going to attract broken. If you're more broken, you're going to attract a more broken person. If you're more whole, you're going to attract a more whole person. 
And sometimes we don't think we are, but we do. And even in a, a setback that can take you to a broken state, you can attract somebody broken, become whole, and be a compliment to help them heal as they helped you get out of your broken state for whatever reason that caused you to go into the brokenness. That's Holy Spirit, that last few minutes, because that was not the direction or focus of what I was trying to say. But again, when you put God in, he multiplies. God is a multiplier. We can add people into our lives, but he determines whether they'll be multiplied or divided. Ooh. Are you recognizing the people that create division in your life? Are you recognizing the people who take from you? Now we are gonna give and take, but it's more being taken than given. And are you getting what you need from the relationship? Because sometimes you may just need one thing. You may just need to be held, to be loved. You may not need finances or things like that. You may, you may, you may not need certain things because you already got all that. You may need somebody just to talk to. You gotta figure out what you want to be completed in your life. I have a confession over what I want. I say it multiple times a day. I watch how it manifests. I am thankful for it. And as a matter of fact, I am so thankful for the new mental space that I have. Whether in business or just meeting people, I meet a whole different character of people. And I am so thankful to God for that. I am so thankful to God for that. But if you don't change inside, It'll never reflect outside. How bad do you want it? And I've been listening to Bishop Jake's The Power of Agreement. <laughs> and I was laughing at uh part when he was talking about Sarah and Abraham when both of them laughed at God's promise for them. And it's just amazing how God will will give you things that you just like, this is so different, so unbelievable. And then he'll ask you to believe, believe it, to receive it. And keep reminding you about it. So, figure out what you want to complete you and let God multiply it. He does exceedingly abundantly more than you can think or imagine. But just be able to enjoy the, endure the process to progress. And if you're not whole, meaning you can't stand firm on God's word and have that relationship with him to sustain you as Sometimes your patience may run thin. You have to recognize, hey, I'm going to take a little bit more time and being okay by myself or being okay waiting or whatever it is, but you have to be okay in that process of not right now. So, 
have a good one as you process the progress be whole be completed by those who are truly compliments to your life I love you enough to tell you the truth. God bless you, God keep you, and God guide you. Let him show you who is for you.